Good evening YouTube. I thought that it's about time that I did a video on YouTube. It's a bit late at night, so that's why that's why I'm in the spotlight. Hey, hey, ba -bum. Um Right, so what I'm going to do is show you uh, Guitar X and some of the ways that I use it. Uh, okay, right. Now this may seem a little peculiar to you. I'm going to show you what what I'm running here um, and why for a start um, start off with this is just a, a demonstration of the amp itself um, let, let's see I don't know how to rewind this um, and you'll see that I've got two two instances of guitar IX running in my in my setup here and the reason for that is because one of them I use dubber on to record and to play back one amp sound, so the rhythm guitar, and then I've got the other one, which is the lead, which is... So here we go. Um, right, so... As you can hear, that is, that, that's going well. Okay, so Guitar X is absolutely fantastic for just playing by yourself, recording into our door. Um, I'll show you, what I'll do is I'll show you I've got a screen recorder running here, so I'll show you um, what I'm doing there. I'm I'm recording all the audio here, here for this. As you can see, my my voice is in there. Um, I don't sing, I, but this is just so that I can. Uh, give a good recording into the into the video right so um, there you go I, I, as I say I've got two instances of guitar IX in in here one of them I've just put a stereo so you, and also you can see in this session I'm recording just neat sound from the guitar but I'm mute I'm muting that at the moment Um, why do I use it? Well, okay. Well, I, as you can hear, it's I, it's a great sound. I mean, there there are other um, there are other uh, um, other patches you can use that are are fantastic as well. I mean, something a little heavier if you if you want to kind of get into playing um, if you want to get into playing heavier kind of things. You can, you can hear this is. Um, well, it's an adaptation of one of the patches that come with it. Um, You 
know, that kind of thing. There's uh, really chorusy ones that are, that are out there. Um, where are we? Here we go. So uh, you can get this one, which is. Uh, I, I mean, I think this is a great sounding amplifier. Well, it is a lamp. Well, yeah. <laughs> you can see it's very f fluid and, uh, and versatile. My c the computer I'm running it on is a dual core processor and it, this version of Ardor is um, 1604 long term support um, but still very useful in our modern age. The computer that I do the editing on again is a dual core processor, uh, slightly better graphics in it. Uh, I don't really know if it makes any difference, but it seems to. So um, yeah, this little package, well, it's free, all of it. And uh, the only thing that costs any money is of course your guitar and your interface. So yeah, I, if you're stuck for something to do and you have an interface of some, of some means of getting the sound of the guitar into the um, into the computer um, well there you go I, I would invest in that uh, I think that you 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 can D D I well I don't know if you can uh, yeah really you need a DI box to get the signal of the guitar into the input of a computer's uh, sound card um, well on a on a computer that old um, I don't know if they've given you DI options on on more modern ones, but this certainly this one you you do need to have a DI box. Um, but I'm sure that some people will say no, you don't. You can just plug it straight in. Yeah, well you yeah you can. I I should imagine you can, but I wouldn't like to think what kind of sound you get. Um, Anyway, I, I thought that I would join in the, the, the merriment on YouTube with uh, endless guitar videos, so why not? It's, uh, I, I, I'll do an extra, what is it, an outro, I think it's called. Um, just a short little video, thought I'd uh, share this with you because it's been a long time coming. I'll probably do some more guitar. Um <laughs> Isn't that great? It's just, oh, I oh know it's digital delay. But it, you know, the, these the the actual sounds that you can get from the amplifiers are, it, you know, they well, whatever sound you can think of, really. And uh, it, it just, well, they're quite inspiring to play to, I think, because they sound so nice. We all want a night. So, I mean, that is a, quite a, an inspiring sound to me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I, I would strongly advise you still, with 
if you have an old computer and you want to have a little muck around and keep it for the guitar then why not why not do that why not use that um i mean it's very capable computer that i've got it has got four gig of um <laughs> it's got four gig of memory by today's standards that's nothing it's a dual core and again you know everything's multi-core processors now so um if you have something more advanced than this it will work even better but i have tried there is one thing i must say i have tried upgrading to um 1804 um, which is the long-term support for the uh, ubuntu studio um and the computer just doesn't want to know um it it does load but it anything you try to do on it it just uh, i can't do it i don't want to do it so it's quite um disappointing because i the the new version of ardor this is ardor 4 um but i mean the guitar x the guitar ix um amplifiers i've got two of them running and it's it, it's not having a problem using them and i'm recording in our door how many tracks one two three four five six well six seven because i've got two stereos um and th i just think it's fantastic it's brilliant um so yeah if if that you need a solution for for your studio that give you like a couple more extra channels or several more channels that you can you can actually mix down to a stereo bus then why not use that it seems it seems great it? okay well for the, however you want to use it I, or, the only reason i did this was i thought if you don't know about guitar ix and you don't want to spend hundreds of quid on getting something fancy schmancy or indeed a hardware version of an amplifier then hey save your money i mean you've got rigs in here that you, you've got messers you've got jcms you've got vox the whole lot i don't know if they've got laney I, i'm not sure or sound city <laughs> they might have or someone might decide oh it's time to bring out one ahead that sounds like that um why not you never know what you can get and there's so many gorgeous effects in there i mean they are brilliant effects and uh they they seem to run well the ones i'm using run real time i mean the uh, i should imagine if you you want to have convolt uh, some kind of convolver it might not um but well not on this computer because it uh, apparently they you know they've got to process a signal through quite a difficult algorithm but anyway that's beside the point you can still record it and then render the the, the session at, afterwards with it um with it rendered or you might be able to consolidate it i'm not sure i, I don't know this that, that's or i haven't i've only had this for a little while that's why i'm so excited i thought oh i've got to do this because hey we're in lockdown and why not do something creative like that just to you know just to, to, to muck around with your favorite sounds or your favorite guitar you haven't touched it for for ages and ages and thought yeah i wanted to i want to play something i just uh, you know i mean just that reverb by itself <laughs> You know, I mean, the, the the kind of the heavier ones, the 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 uh, you know the more the more chunky ones are, are just as much fun as well, aren't they? I mean, what a great sound! sell Pete Townsend or something like that, I, I don't know. <laughs> so yes, go out and buy, no, you don't have to go out, all you've got to do is get on the internet and uh, get it.
it's a, it's a very annoying guitarist thing to do, isn't it? Um, so, yes, have fun. It's great. I love it. Do it. Anyway, right, okay, so that's that. Um, if you like this video, like it. 